Experts say symptoms are similar to kennel cough, only this illness is considered highly contagious and in some cases fatal. Guys, this is serious. You have to protect your dogs. What am I talking about? There's a new mystery dog illness spreading across the United States and Canada. And it looks like a respiratory disease, has some symptoms like kennel cough, got, but can turn into pneumonia very, very quickly. And it can be deadly. And it has been deadly in quite a few cases. So I want to tell you more about that because you have to be on alert. The cases are rising and it's not like normally that in the winter you see kennel cough and something like going down in numbers. And also this new mystery illness does not respond to antibiotics and the vets across the countries do not know what it is. They have not seen it before. So let's dive deeper into it so that you know what you're dealing with and that you know how to protect your dogs because the veterinary institutes are giving some guidelines on what to do. And we really, guys, we should listen and we should do that. It sounds very, very dangerous and none of us pet owners want to lose our beloved buddies right and by the way this is charlie and he says hi unfortunately right now nobody knows what it is it doesn't even have a name yet that's just how fast this illness sickening hundreds of dogs across the country showed up on the scene it happened on november 1st been quarantining him for the last three weeks and he'll probably out for another three weeks five, five maybe five, five weeks, weeks. Toby came down with a persistent cough. Naturally, his owners, Ryan and Kaylee Gordon, took him to the vet. They were like, yeah, kennel cough. Gave us doxycycline, which is like their standard. After two weeks, the antibiotics weren't doing anything. And it was getting so bad. He was up all night last night coughing. That's when the Gordons stumbled upon news of a mystery dog illness spreading across the country and popping up in their home state of New Hampshire. A lot of people said it looks like kennel cough and then turns into something that's kind of like pneumonia. After chest x-rays and more tests, Toby was diagnosed with a mystery illness today. The other symptom we saw was he was like coughing up this like almost like white phlegm kind of thing. Guys, this is very concerning. I am very concerned. Um, and from what I've read about this mystery illness that spreads across the US and Canada, um, the most information is available from the U.S. I haven't heard that much from Canada, but it is in the states that are close to the Canadian border. So I assume that there is no difference. What concerns me is that veterinarians report about the cases, that it's not like kennel cough that lasts two weeks and when they're through it, it's done. This mystery illness lasts for months and it starts with a cough and then can develop very, very, very quickly into pneumonia. And, uh, you know, I don't want to scare anybody with assumptions and whatever, but it sounds to me, could that be COVID? Because we know that humans could spread COVID to their dogs if they're in very close contact. But I haven't heard anything that it spreads from dog to dog. Um, so that's just an assumption and just let's not even go further into it. But what we do know is that it is highly contagious from dog to dog. So that we know already. And guys, um, I'm trying to give you all the information that's available at the moment. And uh, then we go from there. So bear with me. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, the cause is not yet known. The virus is not yet known. The veterinarians are assuming that it's most likely viral because it is not responding to antibiotics. And that is usually typical for viruses. The scary part about this is that it has been fatal in quite a few cases. Veterinarians are saying the illness starts out as a cough that can last for several weeks, but it may not respond to typical treatment such as antibiotics, which can leave the dog struggling to breathe with severe pneumonia. 
And it seems to happen very, very quickly to go from this cough that just won't go away. And then all of a sudden this develops into pneumonia. So the veterinarian estimate or there's one veterinarian in Colorado, she estimates that her hospital has already seen up to 30 dogs with the condition since middle of October. And she says the cases are really not slowing down. And she says two to three are coming in per day. And most of these dogs require hospitalization. And she also says, and this is the scary part, and it's very, very sad. She says four to five of the dogs that her hospital has seen so far have died due to the illness. But we have to add these dogs have already arrived in respiratory distress with pneumonia. So what are veterinarians advising? If your dog starts to cough, monitor it very, very closely and do not wait too long. Because as I said, it develops into pneumonia very, very quickly. And then your dog's chances are going down for recovery. So have the dog tested to make sure that it's not kennel cough or maybe it is kennel cough, but do not wait too long until your dog is really very lethargic and is really, really suffering. So take him to the vet earlier. I know for many people, this is difficult to ask because vet bills as pet owners, we all know that they're significant, but you know, um, you have to weigh in. If you wait too long, you might lose your pet or your pet might suffer for a month in, in best case. So um, try, if you can, try, try to bring your dog to the vet. And try to stay updated about the symptoms so that you can evaluate it best, better. So dogs with this mystery illness usually have coughing, sneezing, eye or nose discharge and they are abnormally tired and they do not test positive for any of the common causes of respiratory illness. So that has been noted in a press release of the Oregon Department of Agriculture because there's lots of cases along the west coast. So we're looking into what these departments are saying because there have a lot of experience with the mystery illness already, but don't think that it's only on the West Coast. It has been in New Hampshire, as you've just seen. It has been all throughout the US. Your doggies are most likely to catch the virus when they're in dog parks or in close contact with other dogs. So places like daycare, groomers, boarding kennels, and as I mentioned, dog parks, are where your dog might be most at risk. So if you can, try to avoid these places, walk them in areas where you know there's usually less dogs. I mean, we all know that when we walk, oh, I'm walking into that park or down that road, there's where everyone's walking. I would also advise you if you walk by restaurants or pet stores or something and there's these water bowls, that they put out for all the dogs, avoid that, avoid shared toys, bowls, anything like that. What is very concerning, because normally with the respiratory diseases in dogs, they start to decrease in the fall because temperatures are getting colder, the people do not spend that much time outside in the dog parks, letting the dogs play with other dogs. But this mystery illness does not show any signs of slowing down. It's the opposite. There's more and more cases. So that's completely atypical to what kennel cough and the other respiratory diseases are. They slow down in the winter. This thing goes up. One of the biggest challenges of this mystery illness for the veterinarians is time. So it usually takes a lot of time to define which cases fall under this umbrella of this particular entity that everyone investigates. Because dogs can develop a cough for a wide variety of reasons and it takes a lot of time to rule all those out. 
And in Oregon, they're saying that they're still trying to pin down a potential cause or causes for the entity of that mystery virus. And they're saying, at least in Oregon, it has given them some challenges. In its press release, the Oregon Department of Agriculture has said that the illness can progress in three ways. A mild to moderate cough for six to eight weeks or longer that either doesn't respond to antibiotics or only responds a little. Chronic pneumonia that doesn't respond to antibiotics or severe pneumonia that often leads to poor outcomes in as little as 24 to 36 hours. Where in the US has the virus been reported so far? So according to the Oregon Department of Health, cases that match the description of the mystery dog illness have been reported officially or anecdotally in Oregon, Colorado, New Hampshire, and the surrounding Northeast area, California, Indiana, Illinois, Washington, Idaho, Georgia, Florida. So to everyone who lives in Canada close to the border to the state of Washington, for example, British Columbia, be aware, be careful, because if it's in Washington, chances are that it's there as well. And we don't know how it's originally being transmitted to the dogs. I know we had the bird flu and we had some cases of bird flu being transmitted to some cats and rats, I believe. I don't think dogs, there were some dogs, but I don't know if that's related. If there's any mutation, we don't know that yet. Anything we're talking about is just speculation. But what we know, it is highly contagious. There's another statement from the American Veterinary Association, and they said in a statement that they are monitoring the cases of canine respiratory illness in Oregon, and that they have been in contact with Oregon state officials. And they also say the cause of this illness is still unknown. And in recent weeks, there have also been multiple reports of outbreaks of a deadly respiratory illness in dogs at animal shelters, in the US. The San Diego Humane Society has lost four dogs to a severe respiratory canine illness. So I know in Canada there was a severe problem with severe dog diseases that were imported from rescue dogs that were flown into the country from as far as Africa, Asia, wherever and they had not been tested properly and they came into Canada and they were spreading diseases. So might this be the cause? Is this some illness that's coming from any other continent or country? Also just speculation, we don't know. So let's talk about the symptoms again and go a little bit deeper into what your dog might look like so that you have a chance to analyze yourself and by looking at your dog, if your dog might be at risk for that. So as we mentioned, coughing that doesn't get better on its own after a week or so, go to the vet then. Sneezing, nasal or eye discharge, lethargy, trouble breathing, especially from the stomach. So I don't know if you've seen when your dog is trying to breathe heavily, when your dog is standing, you even see his stomach like squeezing together and then widening again. You can really see that your dog's working very, very hard so that it's not just trying to breathe up here, he's trying to breathe with everything that he has. And then check the gums, always check the gums for, for a lot of other reasons too, but check the gums if they're purple or blue. That means your dog's not getting enough oxygen. So that's another symptom. If you see any of that, go to the vet right away. What you can also do if you know that your dog has been with other dogs or friend, friend's dogs or with people in the dog park that you know, ask them if their dogs are sick, if they have been to the vet, if they have a diagnosis, that can help you as well. It is very important, veterinarians are stressing that if dog owners notice that their dog is coughing, especially when your dog recently spent time with lots of other dogs, 
like at a daycare kennel or dog park, your dog should be taken to the vet right away and you shouldn't wait to see if the cough clears up on its own as earlier treatment makes a big difference in recovery. And very important what the veterinarians are saying, follow the guidelines no matter what state you're living in. Follow these guidelines across the country. They are noting that keeping your dogs out of these situations may be difficult for many families, especially as the holidays approach, because many people rely on boarding kennels when they're traveling. But if you can avoid boarding dogs over the holidays, and it is so scary and veterinarians are very, very scared what might happen to the mystery illness after dogs across the country are boarded for the holidays. One veterinarian is saying, I understand that there are circumstances that are unavoidable and that some people have to board their dogs, but I would not take this lightly. If there's somebody that can even just come to your house and let your dog out, that's the better option. So please guys, think about what you can do to follow those guidelines. Maybe there is someone that could take care of your dog or maybe you can take your dog with you in some way. So to sum it up, it is a very scary mystery illness and dogs do not have antibodies to pneumonia. That's why it is so dangerous. And especially while we do not know what it is, where it comes from, from where it was spread originally. Was it spread by dogs coming into the country, by birds, by humans to dogs? We don't know. It is equally concerning that we do not have a medication for it. And also this disease can be very severe or can become very severe in a very, very short period of time. So time is of the essence if you see that your dog is sick. So guys, if you like this video, and if you like him, check out my channel. There's more videos, and as my channel says, on the Pulse with Silky, I'll try to keep you updated on what is going on in the world, and I will also keep you updated about that dog disease. Stay safe, keep your beloved pets safe. We send you all our best wishes. Thank you so much. Check out the two videos in the end screen. I hope to see you soon, guys.